we have with us uh, Mohammad Husni. Uh, he is the co-founder and director of program strategy at uh, Impact Voices. Uh, the social innovation intermediary. He's a very familiar face amongst uh, some of us and most of you all uh, who might be watching this now. Uh, Husni, how has been uh, the preparation and the journey of the youth forum? It has been a tremendous journey, of course. You have involved in uh, lots of lots of forums, especially in this forum, the fifth uh, forum here in Colombo. Uh, what are the key takeaways and how was the journey uh, uh, from uh, start A to the end here? Great. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, so. Just before the ministerial forum, we also had a very packed two days of youth forum that happened on the 1st and 2nd of October at the United Nations compound in Colombo. Uh, so that's where basically young people across South a uh, Asia Pacific got together and discussed more about the details of especially the areas that has been highlighted in the United uh, Nations uh, Environment Assembly points as well. So young people get into deliberations in detail uh, regarding those areas as well. So the interesting part about the youth engagement in this entire forum is that it was not just young people attended the ministerial forum out of nowhere, but again, it has been a process where they uh, did a lot of work uh, in online and then met in person in Colombo for two days at the United Nations compound, uh, prepared their declarations, and then we were able to attend a few other parallel events as well. For example, uh, science policy Business Forum, as well as the major group stakeholder forum, and yesterday we had the uh, sec secretaries forum as well, uh, and today we have the ministerial forum. So young people have been making interventions uh, based on the conversations that we have been having, and I feel that has been one of the significant point of this particular meeting because it's not just young people come and attend uh, and go, but it's more about uh, coming with their experience, uh, bringing their inputs, and also seeing how best we can influence the decisions made in these high-level meetings. Uh, one last point. Do you think these uh, forums and especially uh, there have been lots and lots of discussions, roundtable discussions to all over youth, to main forums. Do you think actually there can be key takeaways that can really, really make a change? Yes, uh, but there are conditions as well. Uh, as you correctly said, there are a number of forums that uh, we attend, we see, and we hear that people are attending. But uh, the key part is on the monitoring, evaluation, as well as you know how do you really follow up with these engagements. It should not be limited to declarations, but the good part about this entire process, and personally why I'm excited to be part of this program, is because whatever we give in this input will be incorporated uh, to the United Nations Environment Assembly that is happening next year. Uh, in Nairobi. So all these inputs will be integrated to that final document, but definitely as young people, it's not just about attending the forum, but we have a huge responsibility to follow up on our conversations, as well as not to forget that we don't only attend the forum and discuss about the policy aspect, we should always, always grounded with the grassroots, understand their needs, and also carefully communicate their expectations in the high-level forums as well. So as long as we do that carefully, we surely can uh, see a difference on that.